the city of Aurora is going to investigate and make a list of nonprofits helping migrants. The resolution passed by the conservative city council majority states the claims that the state government and city of Denver were placing migrants into Aurora. The investigation is aimed at determining whether that claim is actually true. Nine News reporter Kelly Brinke joins us now with what exactly this means. Kelly. Yeah, Kim and Kyle, a state spokesperson told us today Colorado did not place migrants in any community. The state said it gave grants to nonprofits, which then helped migrants find housing. It didn't stop the resolution from passing with a six to two vote. I think that the people of Aurora have a right to know. Councilwoman Danielle Jurinsky, a Republican, is calling for an investigation. Her resolution calls on the city manager to look into nonprofits helping migrants in the community. It comes days after Donald Trump's visit to Aurora. I will rescue Aurora and every town that has been invaded and conquered. And weeks after she claimed, without evidence, that a nonprofit supporting migrants is a communist organization. This communist group um, that that um, is along the Colfax corridor, they're called East. Colfax Community Collective, um, they went out and propped up the folks that are living there, um, wrote signs for them, you know, and, 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 and propped them up out there saying, you know, there's no, there's no gangs here. Her resolution to city council says the state and Denver have intentionally placed migrants in Aurora and it orders the city manager to investigate whether that's true. How much money went towards it, what the state's involvement was, what the city of Denver's involvement was. A yes vote by council, which has a Republican majority, means the city manager will create a list of nonprofits that have received funding to help migrants. It's going to target and scapegoat migrants and migrant serving organizations. Um, instead of looking at the real issues that we're facing as a state. Councilwoman right. Allison right. Coombs was one of two Democrats who um, voted no. Advocates also worry this directive will cause more harm. That phrasing makes it seem like there has to be permission that needs to be granted in order for people to enter Aurora if they come from a certain background. East Colfax um, Community Colfax Collective has pushed back on Jarinsky's claims about a Venezuelan gang takeover at apartments. It was then that Jarinsky said they were a communist group. Like many nonprofits have, have had to increase their sense of security at their respective places because uh, since everything has been happening since August, um, just because of how bad the anti-immigrant sentiment has gotten, a progressive council member says she worries that her colleagues will use this information to target nonprofits and then take away their funding. Councilwoman Dorinsky said she doesn't believe the city should be funding nonprofits at all. Kelly Rinke, 9 News.